What's going on, you guys? I'd like to welcome you guys to the channel. It's your boy Big Dog. Uh, oh Lord, it's your boy Big Dog back with another trailer reaction. Today we got one for uh, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Part Two. I really enjoyed the first part. Don't get me wrong, is I'm not a person who's been into horror. So even though other people try to just watch it straight through, your boy can only get so much of that stuff at at a time, right? There's all the demons and witches and all the wickedness. I could watch one episode at a time, man. And most of the time, I usually have to pause through just to, you know what I'm saying, get myself back together, man. So I'm hoping they give me that again, dude, if I'm being honest. Uh, probably not the best thing I should hope for, but yeah, hope so. We got some names. Something is different about Sabrina. I feel like I've been walking down this darker path. But maybe it's not so bad. Mm-hmm. She had a dark baptism. And there's nothing we can do to stop her. This is uncharted territory. Do you think you can handle it? I can choose to be afraid of my powers or I can use them. We've heard reports of levitation, the slaughter of demons, resurrection of witches. How does a first year half mortal student manage that? I feel I must warn you. This is who I am. Sabrina! You have loved the power I have given you. What is it you want from me? Was that Antonio Bender? I don't know. I don't know. But Sabrina, like, she turning up. Boy, she ain't playing no more games. She just all the way out here, bro. I want to explain. All right, now. I love that, Sabrina. Hey, listen. I'm going to tell you what I got from the trailer. Sabrina ain't bullshit no more, man. Sabrina, like, I got these powers. I'm going to use these powers. I don't know how her relationship going to go on. Listen, also, I'm going to put this out there. I'm horrible at names. Horrible. So, if I don't remember somebody's name and I refer to it as that, hey, the human dude, her human boyfriend, or her future uh, witch boyfriend, that's just what it is. That just, you just gotta, you just have to accept me as a who I am, all right? So, I think things gonna happen between her and a human, uh, ex-human boyfriend, or human boyfriend, whatever, whatever you plan on being this year. But, he gonna have to come to the realization that she's just gonna use her powers now. And that's what it seemed like from the trailer. Like, she get more comfortable. And, like, usually she was always looking for... She would need a reason to have to go do certain things. Now it seems like she's just gonna do it just because she can. And I feel that she get... Like, she's leaning more towards the witch side now, you know? I always kind of felt like in the first... In the first season, I think it was... I thought it was a really, really good balance. But this one, it seems like it's gonna be 70, 70 30. You know what I'm saying? She really leaning to, like, the, her, her, her witch heritage and... Boy, it's going to like, it look kind of creepy. It looked just as creepy as last season. Uh, hopefully, it just be it be just as good as the uh, the first part. I guess I'll say, but because the, the first part was really really enjoyable, so I'm looking forward to this. This was a good trailer. Uh, it just gave you some really some good shots. Really don't give you a whole bunch of story. I don't know what the guy is at the end who's asking like what, what she's asking like what do you want from me? I don't know who that guy is. Might be the devil in human form. Who knows? But I'm enjoying this. I can't wait to see what they do this season, man. You guys, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. How excited for you are this? How excited are you for this? Boom! I got it. Uh, <laughs> let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe, about the shout out, and I catch up with you guys later. Peace.